Well, hi, friends. Good to uh, touch base for a moment. You know the friend that I'm looking forward to seeing as soon as possible? is the guy who cuts my hair. I am missing him, and I will be so glad to uh, get some of this weight off my head. <laughs> Maybe you too. Well, friends, we've really had a global shakedown, haven't we? Uh, we've had some experience now with uh, COVID-19, and as we all say, uh, mostly we don't like it, but uh, part of it we do. Some people would say, well, the pace has slowed us down, and for others, it simply means the pace is different, and managing work and home and or work at home uh, has become all very complex. Uh, we've been interrupted with a big surprise. We didn't see this coming, but uh, God was not surprised. Is God at work among our world uh, these days? Clearly, He is. He is at work. And number one, uh, there, there just seems to be a greater openness to the good news of Jesus Christ. This is typical during a crisis. People today are looking for hope, so the search is on, and the search includes checking out the Christian faith. I think number two, that God's showing us how much we need community. He made us that way. I think we're all grateful for technology to keep us connected. Uh, some of us have been on a learning curve with technology, and we're just very grateful for the ways that we can experience community in a COVID-19 world. Uh, like we played a game the other night with family by way of Zoom. I can't imagine us ever doing that. God is at work through the chaos of uh, coronavirus as we seek community and we we find it. And uh, technology has been a blessing uh, in that sense. Uh, number three, God's teaching us to rest. We're slow at uh, learning this lesson, but God is using COVID-19 to teach us how to slow the RPMs and to experience rest physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And number four, we're all being challenged in some way. COVID-19 is impacting us in so many different ways and causing us to reach out to God. And in our reaching out, we find ourselves growing in our faith. It's difficult to see the hand of God during this season of life, uh, but I just uh, want to say, be confident that he is at work and he is growing us up and he is preparing us for those things which may be in front of us yet. It's an important time to learn and to grow. Let's not shove it aside as inconvenient, but just trust God that he's up to something and we're part of it. Well, just a couple announcements. We're excited to meet virtually this Sunday at 11.15 a.m. online service. The sermon will take us to a cemetery in West Edmonton for an understanding of the beatitude, God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. I want to say thanks for getting uh, on to signing our digital friendship book. Ah, oh, please do this for us each Sunday and just make a comment. It just blessed our hearts uh, this past week to, uh, to read the comments. So uh, thank you. And second, uh, don't forget about the virtual lobby right after the morning online service. It's a great time to say hello to one another. Even if it's only for a few minutes, it's nice to see Southwest again. Then finally, we did a revision of our budget, reducing it from $190,000 to $150,000. We were able to omit some expenses because of uh, rent, of course, and uh, lunch costs and a few other items. The, the $150,000 now is a pretty solid expense number that becomes our target. We have received uh, nearly 75000 so we're about halfway there. Over the next six weeks, uh, we have a challenge to raise another $75,000. Yes, we will pray, and we will ask the Lord to help us uh, finish well, and uh, we know that, uh, that he will. Bless you, friends. Thanks for taking the time to update yourself on Southwest and uh, have a good rest of the week. See you later.